Hi, I'm Rob Paulson. I'm Raphael. Cam Clark, Leonardo. Barry Gordon, Donatello. Townsend Coleman, Michelangelo. And, and this, this is Inside the Magic Turtle Power! Awesome. All right, so let me ask you some questions now. Uh, so obviously we're here for however many years later, a couple of decades later after the Turtles debuted. I, 70 years later. Yeah. I, I grew up with this show. It, it, was, it's, it was part of my childhood, as it has been for many. Uh, talk, talking to you here is, is quite an honor. Uh, and, and I have to wonder, meeting fans like me over the years and now at Nick Hotel, what is, the, what is that experience like for you? Well, it's, it's, as you can imagine, it's overwhelming. I mean, we've talked about it before, but it never gets old. We do, <laughs> but um, <laughs> the uh, speak for uh, yourself. Well, older, excuse me, but, Dorian Gray. Yeah, I know. I got a picture in the attic. But the um, the the fact is that we hear people like you say those kind words that you've just said to us. The fact that you grew up watching and that uh, we people will say to us over and over again, "Oh my God, you're my childhood." That that's a really profound compliment, you know. And and uh, even if people have a difficult childhood. Often, one of the happiest memories is Ninja Turtles. You cannot put a price tag on that. It's pretty cool. What's really interesting about it being this many years later, there were times we met you guys when you were children. Yeah. <laughs> so you were children. Mm. And now we get to meet you as adults when you can articulate what that meant, what that meant to you yeah. then. So it's a wild experience yeah. to hear you recount yeah. your childhood as an adult. And it is so humbling isn't it for it really us is. to cuz you know you just never think that well I didn't. for me that a cartoon could play such an intimate part in mm. people's life you know yeah. things like my childhood is now complete that i've met you and you were Very my best sweet. friend and sure you you taught me how to deal with yeah. bullies, bullies. Right. Whatever, but i yeah. but i have a confession to make of all of the fans that i've met i don't think there has been one until now that has actually had the guts to wear a bebop and rock How about that? T shirt. <laughs> I mean, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand in front right. of the camera. Yeah, there in the go. picture. Here we go. Here we go. All right. See, see, that's me. That's me. Right and the there. other one is me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna, that was going to be my next question is because the turtles have obviously been the star of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but the villains are a huge part of it as well. I always loved Bebop and Rocksteady, and of course, Shredder and Krang and everything. Um, over, over the years, do you feel like people have really attached to one character? Like, do they come up to oh, you know, one of you and tell us, you know, they will yeah. say, Leonardo was my favorite, you know, or. They'll come usually up to me and they say, say Michelangelo is yeah. my favorite. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not Michelangelo, they, no, but I'll they, pass it along. Usually they say Donatello is their I favorite. Think they do. Yeah, I'm you very like to think confused. That. I, you know. <laughs> and interestingly, we're that's all now entering our me. second childhood, so it's perfect. Yeah, right. That's yeah. true. Sure. Well, one, one more question. Um, when the show was becoming popular, I'm, I'm sure you had no idea it was going to explode as no. much as it did. But while it did, what was that feeling like working together and knowing you were a part of something huge? It, it, it was a little mind You know what? It's probably it exactly as cool as you can imagine. I mean, it yeah, really yeah. is. They're really, it's not, it's, it's kind of indescribable because we were cognizant at the time when it really took off of, of how big it was getting. And we started at the very beginning, clean sheet of paper, yeah. um, and everything that has sp uh, spun off was as a result of the first Ninja Turtles cartoon. So. That's pretty crazy. It's very cool. I would cool. say for, for me, because we were behind the mics and never met anybody, I would say it is now. Yeah, more cool Since we now. started doing this stuff true, that yeah. I realized, I went, because uh, we never met anybody then, yeah. you know? Right. So I'm going, now it's 25 years later, and it's only now that I'm Good realizing point. the impact, yeah. which is awesome <laughs> to have that going on that, that yeah. many years well, later. Well, not only that, but the generational thing, too. Now, you know, we've got you guys who were fans of us back then right. turning all your kids on yeah. to the new show, you know, on Nick and uh, and even episodes of our original show. So yeah. it's, it's pretty fascinating. I mean, I think we knew it was successful. It, 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 it was such an interesting kind of slow build for us because we started just doing five shows. Yeah. Um, it was, and everyone kind of thought, oh, this is going to be five shows and this is over. And then, no, it was picked up for more shows. And then all of a sudden, CBS yeah. grabs it. And all of a sudden, and you start to realize that there's this kind of snowball effect that's happening. Yeah. And 
so so yeah, I think we were aware that we were part of something interesting and big. And we could cut into lines of fancy don't, restaurants. I yeah. don't <laughs> think we knew that this was going to be iconic, though. Right. I don't no. think that happened until now when we realized the longevity of it is just unbelievable. Well, here we are in Nick Hotel, uh, exciting all summer long. People come meet the turtles, and, and it's great to see you this weekend. So thank you very much, all of you. Thank you, Rick. <laughs> are you kidding me? Where? Where? Flo, Flo and Eddie. Where are they? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Rick. And you for me, hey, so happy to dance. Yeah, right. And you, we just changed keys about seven times. <laughs>